just make this easier. We're just going to do that. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy grace. O God, next be to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Word of the heaven, and Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord has made her grace. Thou spakest sometime in a vision unto thy saints, and says, I have laid hell upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David my servant. As when I have only one of them, I have anointed him. My hand shall hold him fast, and my arm shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not be able to do him violence. The son of the wicked shall not hurt him. I will be down his foes before his face. And smite them that hate him. My faithfulness also and my mercy shall be with him. And in my name shall his one be exalted. I will set his hand also on the sea, and his right hand on the rivers. He, he shall call me now our very father. My God is the God of my salvation. I will make him my firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. My mercy will I need to go ahead and pray for him. And my guidance shall stand the past with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. And if his children forsake my law, and in all God in my judgments, if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, I will visit their offenses with the rod and their sin with scourges. Nevertheless, my loving kindness will I not let me take from him. Nor suffer thy faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is God out of my lips. Once and for all, I have sworn by my business. I will not lie unto David. His seed shall endure forever, and his throne is light as the sun before me. It shall stand fast forever as the moon, and as the faithful witness must die. But thou hast abhorred and forsaken thy anointed, and art displeased at him. Thou hast broken down into thy servants, and cast his crown to the ground. Thou hast overthrown all his fences, and broken down his strongholds. All the day of my son, and he has become a reproach to his neighbors. Thou hast set up the right hand of his adversaries. And made all his enemies to rejoice. Thou hast turned back the edge of his sword, and made his sin out of him to be my God. Thou hast put out his glory, and cast his throne down to the ground. The days of his youth hast thou shortened, and thy reign was dishonored. How long, O Lord, Lord, wilt thou hide thyself forever? How long shall thy wrath burn like fire? O word of God, show us the tongues of saints. Wherefore hast thou made all men in the house? What man is he that shall live on and not see death? And shall he deliver his soul from the power of the grave? Where are thy four loving kindnesses, O Lord, which thou sparest to be made with not a day of kindness? Remember, Lord, the reproach that thy servants have. And how I do bear in my bosom the insults of the peoples. Where will they have any case have reproached, O Lord? Where will they have reproached the steps of my anointed? Praise be the Lord forevermore. Amen and amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son 
and as the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our dynamo is pure, of course. We'll have this regular father reading this place. The first lesson is written in the book of Deuteronomy, the eleventh chapter, beginning at the first verse. Therefore you shall love the Lord your God and keep his charge, his statutes, his judgments, and his commandments always. Know today that if you do not speak with your children, who have not known and who have not seen the chastening of the Lord your God, his greatness and his mighty hand and his outstretched arm. His signs and his acts which he did in the midst of Egypt, to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and to all his land. What he did to the army of Egypt, to their horses and their chariots. How he made the waters of the Red Sea overflow them as they pursued you, and how the Lord has destroyed them to this day. What he did to you in the wilderness until you came to this place. And what he did to David and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, the son of Ruth. And the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up, their households, their tents, and all the substance that was in their possession in the midst of all Israel. But your eyes have seen every great act of the Lord which he did. Therefore you shall keep every commandment which I command you today, that you may be strong and go in and possess the land which you cross over to possess, and that you may prolong your days in the land which the Lord swore to give your fathers, to them and their descendants, a land flowing with milk and honey. For the land which you go to possess is not like the land of Egypt from which you have come, where you sowed your seed and watered it by your foot as a vegetable garden. But the land which you cross over to possess is a land of hills and valleys which drinks water from the rain of heaven. A land for which the Lord your God cares. The eyes of the Lord your God are always on it, from the beginning of the year to the very end of the year. Here ended the first lesson. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the locusts of his family. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and hath holy is his name, and that his mercy is on them to fear him throughout all generations. He has shown strength in his arm. He has scattered the power of the interchangeable of our hearts. He has put down the mighty from the sea, and has exalted the humble to me. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent nearly away. He who never in his mercy hath folded his servant in his arm, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. The second lesson is written in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, 
And then you got the first verse. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, the centurion of what was called the Italian Regiment, a devout man and one who feared God and all his household, who gave alms generously to the people and prayed to God always. About the ninth hour of the day, he saw clearly in a vision of an angel of God coming in and saying to him, Cornelius. And when he had observed him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? So he said to him, Your prayers and your alms have come up for a memorial before God. Now send them to Joppa, and send for Simon, whose surname is Peter. He is lodging with Simon the Tanner, whose house is by the sea. He will tell you what you must do. And when the angel who spoke to him had departed, Cornelius called two of his household servants and a devout soldier from among those who waited on him continually. So when he had explained all these things to them, he sent them to Job. The next day, as they went on their journey, and drew near the city, Peter went up on the housetop to pray about the sixth hour. He became very hungry and wanted to eat. But while they made ready, he fell into a trance and saw heaven opened and an object like a great sheet bound at four corners, descending to him and let down to the earth. And in, in it were all kinds of four footed animals of the earth, wild beasts, creeping things, and birds of the air. And a voice came to him Rise, Peter, kill and eat. But Peter said, Not so, for I have never eaten anything common or unclean. And a voice spoke to him again the second time. What God has cleansed, you must not call common. This was done three times, and the object was taken up into heaven again. Now while Peter wondered within himself what this vision which he had seen meant, behold, the man who had been sent from Cornelius had made the inquiry for Simon's house and stood before the gate. And they called and asked whether Simon, whose surname was Peter, was lodging there. While Peter thought about the vision, the Spirit said to him, Behold, three men are seeking you. Arise, therefore, and go, and, and go with them, doubting nothing, for I have sent you. Then Peter went down to him, who had been sent to him from Cornelius, and said, Yes, I am he whom you seek. For what reason have you come? And he said, Cornelius the centurion, a just man who fears God and has a good reputation among all the nation of the Jews, was divinely instructed by a holy angel to summon you to his house and to hear words from you. Then he invited them in and lodged them. On the next day, Peter went away with him, and some brethren from Joppa accompanied him. Here ended the second. Lord, now let us thou thy servant be part of peace. Lord, for thy eyes to see thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light of life to the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Lord, we give thee all our right to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, it's now our hour shall be. World without him. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ. 
Christ is on his side. Who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified by the Virgin He descended into hell. And the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the God of the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the great and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the Amen. The Lord be with you. And with the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the queen. And mercifully give us we call upon thee. And do thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people thy O Lord, save thy people. And bless thy presence. Give peace at our time, O Lord. And evermore my teeth defend us. O God, may clean our hearts within us. And let us take on and lose the spirit of us. O Lord God, who made the St. Ambrose to be a leader among thy people and a champion of the faith, replenish thy church with the spirit of Salvador to interpret thy truth, with the spirit of boldness to judge right judgment, and with the spirit of worship to magnify thy mercy in the beauty of holiness. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, ever one God, the world and of him. Amen. O God, for whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be said to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord. By thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace of this part of one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and thus promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant them. For the thou, Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as being most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, with the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen. Joy to thee, O Queen of Heaven. Alleluia. For us, we knew the hopes of thee to bear. Alleluia. As he promised, has arisen. Alleluia. Or for us to dwell by prayer. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord hath risen indeed. Alleluia. O God, who by the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, has brought joy unto the world, grant that aided by his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may attain the joy of life everlasting. To the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the souls of the faithful depart into the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Who go into Mass, I would ask you to pray for the body of the church rather than in the choir. And uh, actually, our people need to come with me to the sacristy, please. And the priest, go with you. 